Hello everybody and welcome back to the NCAA 13 Dynasty with Western Kentucky. Sweet home Alabama. And here we go. Season in the South and we've got the GoDaddy.com Bowl coming up. Hello football fans, Brad Nessler here along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Today's exciting game is brought to you by Spark who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. We'll see the Ohio Bobcats and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. And here come both teams. We've got a great bowl game lined up for you here. This one looks to be an incredible gridiron matchup. All right, everybody, here we go. I thought I'd include that little opening presentation for the bowl game. And uh, we're getting right off the bat against the Mid-American Conference champion, Ohio Bobcats. And as you can see, we've got Kiwan Jakes back in action after his injury from a long time ago. And welcome back, Kiwan Jakes, because he's going to take it all the way to the house for a touchdown on a read option only a few plays into the game. He's already busted a 49-yard run. And we really missed that all season from him after he was injured, I believe, in the Kentucky game. And uh, then we get this. I hate that. Get those streak plays where the guys are coming back. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's Western Kentucky's first ever bowl game. They've never been in a bowl game because they've only been in the FBS for uh, not that long. <laughs> so they haven't... Uh, been in a bowl game yet, but I'm proud to say that in a video game I took them to their first bowl game. Epic lols. And as you can see, the uh, crowd, because of the team colors, is uh, Christmas colors. Red for Western Kentucky, green for Ohio. And uh, for those that don't know, Ohio, uh, their head coach is Frank Solich, former head coach of Nebraska, my team. So. Always interesting there. He's actually done a pretty good job at Ohio. Um, look at that diving catch. Just wow. Wow. All right. This Tettleton guy. Look at that timing of the option pitch. Perfectly timed. It's like the option they used to run at Nebraska in the old days. Another option play. They were burning us early with those kind of plays. I was even in the backfield in that play and couldn't stop it. It's just... Ugh, just taking bad angles and, and all that stuff. That's so bad and terrible. There's Hill making the catch for that first down. And they get a touchdown in the corner of the end zone. So it's 10-7. to We're trailing. I mean, look at this Ohio team. They've, they've only lost one game this year. They won their conference championship. Um, they really deserve a better bowl game than this, I think. But obviously their strength of schedule doesn't think so. But look at Rico Brown. I love seeing that fight for the extra yards to get the first down. Beautiful. And then Bobrand all the way down inside the five-yard line. What a humongous pass play. And the Ohio fans crossing their arms in utter disgust. And we get away with a ridiculously late pitch to Keyshawn Simpson, who will run it into the end zone beautifully to give us the lead. And now... We are back on top. Quintera Smith destroys the quarterback. The senior wants to go out in style. But then they bust us on this one. I don't know what happened. I think we, we were running some kind of zone that somebody missed an assignment on. So now they're going down the field quickly. I mean, they're dinking and dunking it and getting some big chunks of yards out of it. So... I mean, that's kind of how I run my offense, so, you know, I can't really complain, but look at Quintero Smith. Getting it done. He's been a sack machine all season. Been a sack machine, and so now they'll take their field goal, but no, 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 no. It's a miss. Epic fail. So our defense gets to celebrate after that play, and we're going to scramble around with the Jakes and go deep to Rico Brown, who can't quite juke out his defender not going to be fooled on that one so get Simpson nice hard fought running run a little option with Jakes 
Okay, the quick first down. Cheeky, I know. And then it's fumbled. It's fumbled. Oh, oh, oh. But our offensive lineman picks it up. So, not what we wanted to do there. But we would get the field goal at the end of the first half. So, 17-10. Looking good. I mean, we're, we're doing all right. And our defense is starting to catch on. Except for this Boykin dude. Breaks two tackles. Spins out another. Unbelievable. Should have been stopped in the backfield. But look, we are all over this option play. And that is Chiquetti. Or Chiquetti, I was informed how to pronounce his name. I believe he's a senior, though, so... Not like it matters now. And we get the fumble recovery. That's how you're going to be a team like this. you got to force those turnovers. And we get Simpson. Look at the juke move. Nicely done. And we take a chance there. Look at this, man. I just... That's Jamario Brown. Look at this catch. This was ridiculously good. I mean, I just kind of took a chance there. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect him to be able to make the play. And he barely got his foot in bounds. Unfortunately, they didn't show that on the replay. And I didn't pull up the replay, so blah, blah, blah. But Brand would be stopped short. And we decided to go for it on fourth down. And Kadeem Jones stopped. That was just poor decision making on my part, really. I, I really wish I hadn't done that. Boykin spinning, rolling, whatever, his way to a first down. And we destroy the quarterback after he tried to be all sneaky. Sneaky on us for that play. So we stop him. Beautifully done. If you can hear my computer making noise in the background, I apologize. It's kind of hard to avoid because of how close I have to have my microphone. But uh, anyway. Then they're going to get this play. Oh! Oh, that was a great attempt at a catch. So I went in here with my poor camera skill replay. As you can see here, I'm terrible at camera controlling. But uh, that's also kind of a fault of the game. Look at that. Breaking up that pass, that was awesome. So now we jump ahead, and it's John Evans. Look at that play. Beautiful. All right. So now we're just kind of trying to run the clock out here. We're up by a touchdown. We really would like, you know, to be able to hold on. So they call timeout, blah, blah, blah. We get a field goal. All that good stuff. 20 to 10 now is our lead with under two minutes to go. Western Kentucky is so close to a first ever bowl win in their first ever bowl game. And so now fourth and three. They got to get it. They got to get the first down. And Boykin, the hard runner that he is, able to get it. So... Their drive continues. They're trying to, to make the big the, the big two scores in one minute kind of deal or something. I don't know. Thompson fighting for the yard, so now they got to go second and goal. And we brought the blitz, and unfortunately, that resulted in them beating us for the touchdown. Thankfully, the onside kick doesn't quite result in the way it did last time when the, our guy kicked the ball into the other team's hands. So we win 20-17 to Western Kentucky. First ever bowl game. First ever bowl win. We finish the season with a 9-4 and record in hand Ohio. Only their second loss on the season. The play of the game, obviously. That impressive 49-yard run by K1 Jakes who made his return from his injury. He's a senior, though, so we will be saying goodbye to him after this game anyway. And what a season it's been. It's been a fun season, and uh, I've had a lot of fun doing this first season with you guys. Um, yeah, there he is, player of the game. 15 of 21 passing, 173 yards. Good game. Good, good game. We pick up the win in the GoDaddy.com Bowl, which is fantastic. And what a way to finish off my first season in this dynasty. It's been a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to season two now. Um, I have to edit. I've recorded. I've actually started recording games in season two. I'm already into season two as far as what I've recorded. Uh, the off season. I need to edit that footage together because it's quite a bit to cut down into watchable stuff. So, um, 
the next video will just be off season. It might be somewhere around 20 minutes, maybe, just so you know. Um, depending on what I decide to leave in and take out and all that stuff. Um, but here you can see the stats. Jake's the senior goes out in style. Luckily we have Simpson and Evans. We have a lot of starters returning on offense next season, so um, a lot of our receivers are young, with the exception of Vasquez. I believe everybody else is, is young, so... Speaking of young, Keontae Young, what a game he had. We'll be saying goodbye to Quintero Smith, sack master extraordinaire. All that good stuff. Yeah, so um, be on the lookout for that off-season video uh, maybe in a few days here. I don't know when I will get that up. And then we will be looking forward to uh, starting the next season. And I'm very excited to get into season two. As I, I mean, I've already recorded it, but I'm very excited to get that stuff put together for you guys, so we can get on with the future of Western Kentucky football. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the off season in the next video. So see you then.